photographic projection from isometric view. How is it being constructed? What are to be considered before and why join? These and many more you will learn in this video. So watch to the very end. From the West African Examination Council, we'll be using the first exam, the number one question. And we are giving the three views of the block, the front elevation, the end elevation and the plan. And we are asked to make a freehand sketch but in this video join an um, orthographic projection and in our last video we drew a freehand sketch of it which is this to explain how these three views are being joined together to give us the isometric block so if you haven't watched the video do want to watch these two videos that explain in detail how to draw a freehand sketch in case you're giving this question or you come across this topic so without wasting much of our time we'll have to go straight to the drawing when i take notes no dimensions were given because we asked to make a freehand sketch of the isometric view of the block so since no dimensions were given we'll now have to impute our own dimensions we'll have to create our own dimensions using your mind eyes that's good so using our freehand sketch the block we can just stick here as 4 cm. We can just use here as 4 cm. And looking at the views, it's not that long. It's looking like 4 cm. So we can just use 4 cm. Then for this part here, we can use 1 cm for this part. Then for this other part, we can use 3. So making here a total of 4 too. And if you look at the views, it's looking equilateral and equilateral square so it's looking at each of the parts are four cm so here it will be four two then let's take the front elevation first then for the height let's take here as two cm for what we're given yes two cm then for this other part is slanted all right so this is the top of here so from here to here we also take two cm that is the height two that's from this part the top it's also two centimeter same thing here then here will be okay we'll come to other way then let's go to the side this side we are having here as two cm as the height Then we are having here as 1 cm, that's this part. Here is 2, here is 1. Then this other part, the top, the last part will be 1 cm. Then for the top, the top, here, okay, let's take this other part here. Here will be, okay, there is no demarcation there, so we have to erase this. So it's not given in the top. Yeah, it was not given, so we have to erase this out. So we're just having this only. Good. So for this, taking downwards that from the top, the plan, from this part, we're having 1.5 cm here. Looking at this, if here is 4 cm, then here is looking wider than here because here is 1 cm. So if here is 1 cm. These two parts will be what to give us 4 cm. It's giving us 3 cm. That's the total. So here will be divided by 2, 1.5, 1.5. So this width here is 1.5. And this, this one is, is, is wider, but I just made it small because it's a freehand sketch. So here it is 1.5. This width here. So we've gotten this width, this width, and here. Is one cm good so we are done with here here is four then this other part good here these two parts so we take for here here will be two cm and here will also be two cm to make it equal so we are done with these sides two 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 three one four in total then for this other side 4, then the height is 2cm, 
the height here is to same. Go then the top we done 1.5, this width 1.5 and 1 cm. Then here is giving us this part will be 1 cm in 0.5 cm. So looking at this is looking smaller. So here it should be 0 0.5. It's looking smaller than the 1 cm of this. So let's take 0 0.5 for here. So if you have 0 0.5, so here will be 3.5. Since 4 is the bit. So here is 3.5. That's here. And here is 0 0.5. So we are done with giving the dimensions. So that's how technical drawing is. It's that easy. You just first study your views if you're not giving any dimension. So giving the views is looking equal. That's why I was able to get the dimensions for each of the sides. Using the dimensions, let's draw the orthographic projection of the three views shown. So let's watch. So for this first part here, in this side, we're having this part here, one. So draw one for this part alone. Good, then we'll draw for this part four cm. Good, then we we'll take the height to cm of this part. Then here will be yes, we didn't take this part, sorry about that. So here can be 0 0.5. Here can be since it's total of 2 cm. Sorry, since here is total of 2 cm, which, which is this. So here can be 0 0.5, which will make this to be 1.5. So we can take here as 0 0.5 as the height. Good, so here is 1.5 cm. So, so here is total 2, 2, 0.5, 1.5. So let's take the height. Using our 30 degrees, we draw a line of 3 cm for this part here. So we'll come to this part and good. So after that. Then we extend the line by 1.5 cm. Check this part here. It's by 1.5. They will join with this. So he's giving us four, telling us it's accurate. So 
We've gotten the side. Side elevation. Good. So I forgot to point to point something. Yes, giving us S. And here is giving us S. And you may want to ask what is the S for? So in that video I explained what the S signifies. So make sure you watch the video. Where I did the freehand sketch for this block and also the freehand sketch for another block too. Another giving the, the views. So make sure you watch the freehand sketch of how I did that and what the S point is for so that you understand more about that. So let's continue our drawing. They will join this part too. Join the parts together. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll have to get this other part here. Join this part and this other slanted height. But to get the slanted height, it's not giving in 30 degrees. It's slanted, it's sloping, good sloping down. So what we'll do is this thing says 0 0.5 the width. So we'll mark at 0 0.5, then we'll get this line of 30 degrees. We'll get this line, we'll get the height get this other side and join them together so let's do that just watch as i do that it's 2 cm so just 2 cm So here is 2 cm because this is the height for this. These two joins together to give this. And this is 1 cm, which is this. This is 1 cm, this is this. So total of 2. So we we'll mark 2 for here. Then we've gotten this L shape. Now you, you saw how we got the L shape. So what we we'll do is we we'll join them together. We we'll join this point to give us this other side. Now watch. So this is for this side. Now to get this other part, we we'll have to extend this line. All right. So let's let's do that to get 30 degrees here. Then we'll join it. So we've gotten this side. Now you can see that it's slanted. Now if you measure it, it's giving us 60 degrees. So it's not giving us 30. Alright? So that's how you get a slant height. First get the diameter down before you get that. So we have to also get this other part here. Good. So what we first do is, here is giving us 2 cm, here is giving us 2 cm. Here is a total of 4 cm. So we pin at 2 cm here, then pin at here and draw, extend the line by 2.5 uh, cm. 2 cm. Using this point, draw a line of 2.5.
so we've gotten the 2.5 cm and here is the total of 1 cm which is what we are giving here 1 that's the width so here has to be 1 cm you can see it so if here is 1 cm here is 0.5 here has to be what 2.5 good so we've gotten this part so using our set square we have to pin this point and draw a line of 1 cm upwards vertical line or it's better we finish the die the base so we have to extend this line by 2 cm which is what is given they will join it 1 cm so using our tactile So we've gotten this part then we draw the line upwards by one cm. So at this point, one cm, one cm join together. Let's do that. Stop on. It's almost in the So after that, then we we'll have to join this part. So we'll draw a line of 2 cm for this part, which is what we are giving here. So 2 cm here, we will join together with this. So after that, 1 cm upwards. So they will join to this. So he is giving us 2 cm. Showing is correct. Good. 
So one thing you need to know is if you don't know how to use a protector, so you have to use your set squares. You can just at that point where we just drew the line, you can just place a ruler, then mark the 30 degrees line. But I prefer using my protector that as well. So I also have to project this line by 1.5 cm with my protector. They will join it together. Good. So we've joined it together. So we've finally drawn what we are giving. So this is the front view, looking in the front direction, the front elevation. We are seeing this and this, which is giving us this in the front elevation. We are also seeing this other L form, which is this L from here, good. And we are seeing this slanted part looking in the front direction, which is this. And then looking in the side elevation, we are seeing this part that is L, the L form being turned upwards in the side, which is this. We are seeing this slanted part, which is this. We are seeing this top and here, which is this too. Then the plan, the top, we are seeing. Looking downwards, we are seeing this L form, which is this, this plan. This plan is being turned like this, which is giving us this. We also seeing here, which is this part. We are seeing this too, which is this. So, I'm sure you followed through, and you saw how we first got our dimensions, which we used from our mind eyes. So, we have to create dimension for our work, which I taught you how to do. And after that, we able to make a freehand sketch. So the video is in the channel. You'll do have to check it out. Watch the videos. And we also took note of the S points. is in the uh, freehand sketch video. So do have to watch it out. Then after drawing the freehand sketch, we've produced the, the projection, the orthographic projection, giving it only the views, giving the three views only. So do have to touch the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, also like the video so that it can be recommended to others. Be able to share to those who may want to watch this type of video. And don't forget to comment or ask any question you do have and subscribe. Thanks for watching.